This chart shows some typical parameter settings for the A700 VFD. The auto-tuning parameters are the same for both the masters and slave drives and are just the normal ones used to put the drive into open loop RSV mode. By setting parameter 77 to a 2, we can write new parameters into any of the drives along the network. If the conveyor is very long, that's useful. The drives are set in coast to stop mode because the slave drives cannot distinguish between positive and negative torque and will actually speed up if the master drive slows down on its own, since deceleration torque will be seen as a load increase. Writing to ROM instead of EEPROM enables continuous changes to be made to the speed and torque settings without damaging the drives. Parameters 804 to 808 put the drive into torque or speed mode and are set according to whether the drive is a master or a slave. Why would you use Mitsubishi's products to do a load sharing application? Let's summarize some of the major advantages. Starting with the A700 VFD, we have an excellent platform for the actual motor control. The main plus points are the outstanding speed range and its ability to operate smoothly in torque control mode without the need to use any kind of encoder. This is very useful if the environment is wet and dirty. The RSV, Real Senseless Vector Mode system, allows both a 200 to 1 speed range and open loop speed or torque control. CC Link allows the use of simultaneous commands to all the slave drives using the group write feature. This works better than having to send consecutive instructions to one drive after another and also reduces the amount of code needed. CC Link is also very robust, has good immunity to radio noise and allows extremely long cable runs. This in turn means that the drives can be close to the motors which optimizes their performance. The drive needs to be no more than about 100 feet from the motor in order for the RSV mode to work properly. The Q-Series processors have excellent program capacity and flexibility and allow the user to control all the drives from a single central point. For the operator interface, the GOT series HMIs are a great choice, both because they connect directly to the PLC and because they have a NEMA 4 rating to stand up well in difficult environments. Another good reason to work with Mitsubishi is the option of having both drives and controllers packaged in custom enclosures so that they are ready to run as soon as they get to the site. Although the A700 can control its output torque, it is also possible to do load sharing in a simpler way which regulates the torque by controlling just the speed of the slave drives. This system is lower cost and well suited to smaller conveyors such as industrial chain conveyors with relatively short distances between the drives. Using the speed control system, the need for a separate PLC can be avoided. In the same way as before, a single drive is given the speed reference signal and outputs a torque reference to the next drive as a 0 to 10 volt analog signal. The slave drives are set up in PID mode and use the analog signal of the previous drive as their set point value. Each slave drive is provided with an FR-A7AY option card which provides a 4 to 20 milliamp analog output proportional to its own torque level which is then fed back into control terminal 4 of the same drive. The drive then changes its output speed running faster or slower to match the torque output of the master. Using this system, torque is controlled indirectly by controlling the speed. As required, another 0 to 10 volt signal can be taken from the first slave drive and fed into a second slave drive. In this system, each drive is responding independently of the others. This is suitable for the control of 5 or 6 drives depending on the precision needed for the application. As with the complex load share, it is important to send a coast-to-stop instruction to each drive simultaneously because the slave drives 
cannot distinguish between positive and negative torque and will actually speed up if the master drive slows down on its own since deceleration torque will be seen as a load increase. Before finishing, just a reminder that you can get further information on this subject from the MEAU website. Here are the details. You can find a detailed application guide and reference notes, as well as some images and even a movie clip of a tunnel boring application using Mitsubishi drives for conveyor load sharing. This brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you all for your attention.